I'm pretty sure that you've heard of Lost Episode Creepypastas. They are an incredibly graphic episode um, that conveys such fear for children that it was never aired. Though someone managed to sneak a viewing or owns one of the tapes, the most popular example of this is Squidward's suicide, in which Squidward commits suicide, hence the title. Of course all these creepypastas are false, yet I remember a Spongebob episode that was altered heavily, but it still remains in circulation today. This is One Course Meal from Season 7. In the episode, Mr. Krabs finds out that Plankton is horrified of whales and uses it to his advantage. This is one of the worst episodes of the show due to its dark nature, and even after the episode was heavily altered. Now, how would I have seen this episode before it was edited? It's simple, really. This is one of the seven Spongebob episodes that was revealed on the internet before it was aired on TV. Always a big fan of the show. I was excited of, of the idea of Spongebob having an episode premiere on the internet before television. I rapidly reloaded the Nick page and finally the episode came up. It was known as Plankton Got Served, even though the title was eventually changed. Most of the episode was identical to the one that circulated today. Plankton manages to break into the Krusty Krab and ties up Krabs and Spongebob, and he was about to finally get the secret formula from Spongebob until Mr. Krabs' daughter, Pearl, walks in. This terrifies Plankton and causes him to run out. Plankton later claims that his ancestors were eaten by the whale, and that he, which is why he fears them so much. Mr. Krabs realizes this fear that Plankton has and decides to use it against him. He dresses up as his daughter and begins to follow Plankton around, frightening him. Plankton decides that he can no longer take it and decides to make the ultimate decision. Plankton decides to commit suicide. Yes, this is still in the show today. You are free to watch it. Plankton waits for the bus as he lies in the street, waiting to get run over. That was when Spongebob comes over and tries to convince him to continue his existence. This is where the alternate alteration of the two versions begin. Plankton fails to heed Spongebob's words and just remains sitting there. In the altered version that was shown on TV, Spongebob tells Plankton that Mr. Krabs was Pearl the entire time, and he gets up. In another altered version, Spongebob says the same things, but Plankton refuses to believe him. Spongebob then decides that the only thing that he can do to show him the truth is to drag Mr. Krabs outside. Soon after he leaves, the typical red bus comes speeding along. Plankton sits up and watches as it hit him and everything faded to darkness. Plankton finds himself standing on a single platform, overlooking darkness. In the darkness, he sees all whales all looking up at him. There are members of his family, too, that he can faintly make out, calling for him to jump down. Plankton looks above and sees a light that he can scarcely make out. This was probably meant to represent heaven and hell. Plankton, resigned to his fate, jumps and plunges down into the darkness. This was when the episode ends and the traditional credits for the show are shown parallel to Pl Plankton's descent into darkness. Now some of you may say that you saw the show as soon as it came available online, apparently not fast enough. After seeing the original episode online, I, re I reloaded the first page to find the altered version shown on the website. I kept reloading, curious as to how I found the first version. The only answer I can imagine for my viewing of the original episodes was that the creator uploaded the wrong file and moments after uploading it recognized such. I may be the only one who saw this version. I truly did not know the sick ambitions of the creators of Spongebob had in mind with this episode. Why would a kid show portray death and why would a kid show portray heaven and hell? Nonetheless, the unaltered version is impossible to find. I have searched as hard as I could, and I have failed to find anything legitimate about the episode that I have seen. People had told me that I only saw the altered version, and they too were surprised of the dark themes portrayed in the episode. 
Nonetheless, I know what I saw. I know people would fail to believe me. People would just accuse me of just trying to scare people. People would say I have no evidence. There are no photos. There is no evidence of this occurrence. I only saw it once, and it never occurred to me to do such. I know the truth, and I want other people to know as well. Maybe, just maybe, someone out there saw this episode as well as I and can confirm it. Until then, I hope you enjoy reading about my experience. Hello, my little ones. It is I, your ruler, Shadow Blazer. And if you like this video, then make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube and hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. And make sure you put your creepypasta suggestions in the comment section below. And who knows, maybe your creepypasta suggestion will be next. <laughs> and I'll see you soon, my little ones. Ha, 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 ha.